This is me at the range. Very happy, Len, having landed those shots with no problem. With my Walther PPQ M2, regular, and a new set of sights from Heritage Guild. Thank you, Shane. It works great. Seven yards. I'm happy with that. Also seven yards, trying to be a bit more aggressive. I'm obviously flinching down and to the left. Guys, I am really liking this gun. Still seven yards. <laughs> this is two holes. <laughs> I'm still liking this gun. Very, very much. Okay, so there's seven yards, there's 15 yards, and there's my grouping. I can't tell you how incredibly happy I am with this, with this, fi with this firearm. Very, very happy. This is second round at 15 yards, 45 feet. Quite, quite happy with these results. Okay, we're still at 15 yards. We've got a couple bullseyes, mostly center low now. So I just have to work on my flinchiness. All right, so this was supposed to be 15 yards headshots. I am very happy with this gun. Okay, so this is final round, 15 yards, approximately the last 45 shots. I went a little aggressive, but there's a bunch of head shots and a bunch of body shots. See my face now, because I am super happy with the performance of this thing. All right, bye. All right, and then I created a quick test with my Ruger ARX ammunition. If you haven't seen that, it looks like this. It's got like little fluted cuts and stuff. And no, we had three malfunctions in one clip. So no Ruger ARX ammunition. I'm going to go find some other defense ammunition to use. With the Ruger ARX at seven yards, the gun obviously has no problem delivering a bullet to the target. So it's not the round's fault. It's just probably the grain and the springs and everything.